What is this? Joey, you're inside of a fire truck. What is this? This is incredible. We're red. Hey, welcome new subscribers. Hey guys. <laughs> Old subscribers. Everybody. Hey, welcome back. Um, we really appreciate all you new subscribers too who've seen us driving around and or from the schools because um, it really encourages us to hear new comments and know that we're, you know, connecting with people on the road and we're not just isolated. Yes. Um, with, do you hear that motorcycle? We've, we've had to move our RV a couple times tonight because um, we're in a Walmart parking lot. I don't want to say where, but um, it hasn't been great. We really have not had great experiences at Walmart parking lots. Mm -hmm. Second, not great one. So we're going to stay here tonight. We're going to try and find somewhere tomorrow night. But with that said, what we're going to start doing is we are in so many places so fast. And we get our itinerary for the following week every Thursday. So like Thursday night. What we're going to do is we're just going to post the cities that we're going to be in. Hang on. Wait for that little motorcycle to... Burn out of that Walmart parking lot. Nothing cooler than that. Can we see it in the camera? I don't see it. Oh, it's Lord. not that close to us. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, that's a car. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is great. Kids are just dreaming of motorcycles. So with that said, dreaming. what we like to do is um, we want to post those cities of where we're going to be next. Um, because we know some people in some places, but we all, you guys, know people all over the place. And we feel like if we let you guys know where we are, um, maybe <coughs> you'll know um, somebody in that city, some church in that area, someone that might host us just to allow us to park for the night, not necessarily give us water and plug in and all that stuff. Just let us be safe. Um, and also, there's two other things. Uh, well, with, well, I guess that kind of segues into the next thing we want to show. Coming up here, we want to show some footage of earlier this week where we were like blessed. Uh, school, um, we couldn't find a place to stay in that town near our school. And uh, the, the PTA member that actually booked us, she talked to the local fire department and they were amazing. And they said, yeah, they could definitely stay right here, just right in the back. And uh, not only were we safe and comfortable, but um, they were super hospitable. Um, they gave Joey like the full tour. They gave us all the full tour of the places. You ought to see. We'll show some footage. Yes. Yes. Footage. Okay. Wow, Joey. This is amazing. Hop up, jump. One, two, three, jump. They even have a stereo back here. What is this? Joey, you're inside of a fire truck. What is this? This is incredible. We're red. Say thank you. There you go. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Can we? Zach or Jeremy right there. All right. Thank you so much. Wow, look, it's real firemen. Say hi. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Say thank you. <laughs> Say thank you, Jojo. It's close. You what is the style? <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you say thank you, Jojo? Thank you. Then you can call her. 
gets the water. The ladder. This light's making him look evil. Okay. Whoa. You wanna you wanna go with Jeremy in there? Check it out. Ready? One, two, three. Wow. He's gonna touch everything. You can sit down. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What do you think? Are you gonna go sit? Yeah. Where do I sit? I used to sit right there. But you can take it. <laughs> that seat, the guy puts the fire out. Or you can sit up front. Do you want to be in charge? Or do you want to drive? You know what the worst part is? Once I get driving, These are flashlights. So you can. Do it. It's not that I mind. Don't really If he grabs anything, it shouldn't just no, like grab it from a little bit. We went to a birthday party and kids just like. Do you really? Every glove was literally out of here. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, the birthday party? Yeah, he, we had crack, like I had crackers and they were all crushed up. So he, he can't do worse than them, so. I don't know, man. I believe, I believe it, but anything is possible. Yeah. So you can turn, so click on it and turn it off. This button, yeah. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, no, I still have a, I finance 25,000. So hard, four seconds. Yeah. But insurance. Yeah, do that, you're gonna oh, block people on the road. Yeah, that one does. <laughs> one minute with everything. So that's crazy. So just to close with a minute. That's so crazy. A lot of people have their clothes on there on 30 seconds. So it's just... <laughs> why his bottle's going off is obviously we don't want to use a full one mm -hmm. so we give one that's low on air right so this that's is vibrating it's, it's saying we're done yeah basically because right. you can't hear it necessarily mm -hmm. is that right? no dang two minutes is ridiculous one minute. that's so much stuff who can do it in a minute who can do it in a minute i, I, I would the collar can do it yeah, yeah he the guy that he got in the middle of five are you kidding yeah yeah like I did mine yesterday like a minute very slow. Yeah, three minutes. Yeah, two minutes. I'm a great day. You're not ready today. You both got three seconds. I see YouTube videos. I'm like, man. Oh, really? They feel you do it. Three seconds. No. Well, they like leap in it like a cartoon. <laughs> they just so, step in. <laughs> so after he does that, we, we check to see, you know, there's no... Like, Make sure you check. Right? Where if he goes in the fire. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, my name is Jeremy Bobongo. Robert Corbett. And how long have you been fireman? Uh, it's about to be two years now. I've been in the fire service for about seven years uh, down in North Carolina, and then I moved up here and uh, was out of it for about five, then got back into it. So almost a year now. Mm. It's pretty thankless, especially if you're volunteering at first. Are you career firemen? No, we're no, volunteers. Just strictly volunteers. So, why do you volunteer? It's really dangerous. Um, one, actually, firefighting, I pick because it's adventurous. You know, you don't really do the same stuff every day. And volunteering, just trying to give back to the community, really. Pretty much the same reason, just giving back. Um, everybody can go down to the soup kitchen or just their way of giving back or, you know, help homeless people or help out in the church. This is our way of helping out, you know, giving back to our community. Now, you could you could lose your life doing this. Yeah, you I understand know. that. <laughs> yeah, my mom tells me that every day, but I just tell her, you know, it's my risk, you know, I'll take it. And, and uh, what is something that stood out to you that you, um, that uh, made you ever reconsider doing this? Or have you ever reconsidered doing this? Um... My first fire, actually, I did. Uh, I was kind of scared in a way, but then I'm like, man, you know, obviously first fire, you'll get scared, but then I'm like, no, I want to go to more. So okay. that's what inspired me. Uh, no. 
Is it a rush? Oh yeah. <laughs> Nothing like getting on, jumping on the engine and getting to that call, jumping off and pulling hose and doing whatever you gotta do to get the job done. So how many days a week do you guys volunteer? I volunteer one day a week here and then I have, I live up in Thurmont, Maryland, also volunteer at a station there. Mm -hmm. And I am on call 24 seven when I'm up at home. Fun fact is I actually live at the station. Do you? So I'm one of the residents here. Um, there's four of us and I said every night of the week I'm here. Um, during the day, like I help out the paid staff too. So I basically breathe, sleep, shower, all up in the firehouse. That's incredible. Uh, is and is the community supported you in a lot of ways? Do you feel um, like the community? Yeah, actually, coming from the city to Newmarket, um, Newmarket community actually helps out a lot, donating. I mean, we do a lot of events to help them out, and they help us in a way. So I, I really like Newmarket. Yeah, I agree. So awesome! Thank you guys for what you do. I really appreciate it. Yeah, buddy, welcome. And we're really grateful. We're actually staying here tonight. Um, they're allowing us to park out back. We're playing a school right up the street, so they let Joey hang out. Been a lot of hard work, and um, we're really just grateful for all of you. Uh, emergency rescue, military, but you know, especially when it's volunteer, it's just it doesn't even make sense in the, the, today's world. But it seems like this tour, we keep running into good people over and over again, and uh faith is being restored so i hope you guys are being encouraged by watching that as we see it ourselves so thanks guys thank you so much oh, good, brother. Oh, good. <laughs> okay so that was fantastic and um but uh this week had no breakdowns again sorry but we did have a, a our immune systems broke down horribly everybody was sick uh beth you dealt with the brunt of that yeah well as far as kids yeah pretty much everybody <laughs> The kids were really sick. Um, Joseph's finally feeling better. Nicolina's still a little snotty, but she's so, definitely better than she was. Yeah. And you're still kind of on the mend. Yeah. Getting yeah, there, yeah. though. We are getting there. Taking all the, all the necessary vitamins, leaving snail trails around for Beth to clean up. Um, so many. Lysol. And, uh, but you know what? It was, it was, we got through that. Everybody gets the sniffles. I think singing two to three shows a day was a little weird trying to sing with a cold but it's gonna happen I mean it's eight months through cold flu season with and you're playing inside schools, schools with thousands and thousands <laughs> of kids a week yeah so I'm gonna get sick so I, I was really trying to find my feet so like I, ch I changed the key of my music to lower and it just sounded dark and evil so I started making jokes and I think jokes was the way to go because I do like little games and things like activities and stuff to like drive the point home so at the end of the day, if those aren't getting the point across, you know, so it, it worked out. But I, I think, like by the last show on Friday, those kids were really cool, and um, I started getting my voice back. So I think we'll be good by Monday. I think we are already finding what works and what doesn't work already, and that's helping. Um, so we'll see what week four is like. So definitely continue to watch. Like I said, we are going to post where we're going to be next, so you guys can. Um, definitely reach out to us if you know anybody in that area or any fire companies or any uh, EMTs or any churches especially we really haven't run into any churches out here yet really. and that's sad because we'd like to run into some churches we want to run into some people of like faith so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching thanks for um, for subscribing commenting please leave your comment below oh right See you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Love Bye. you so much. Take care. Bye. Just keep